know, I literally knew I was born to make my living in the kitchen from a very, very young age, from some of my first memories. Let me share with you my absolute first memory in life. I'm in a commercial kitchen with my mom, and uh, she goes to answer the telephone, and she puts me down for a second, and there's a big griddle, a big flat top griddle, really screaming hot above my head. And I love watching my mom cook in the, in the kitchen, either at home or at work, so I'm trying to imitate her. And I see the spatula sitting on the edge near the griddle. I reach up, and I'm trying to grab the spatula. I grilled my thumb to the griddle. So, I mean, not, it's kind of a gross first memory. Um, not exactly a happy first memory, but I literally branded myself much life, like a Grasshopper, Harry Potter or something. Um, from the time I was four years old, I knew that that meant these hands were gonna make their living in a kitchen. That's why my first guest is so um, well inspiring to me. The story's a little bit familiar. So one of my first guests is Zeke and he's just four years old. We received a home video in the mail of Zeke watching our show, which I thought was super flattering, but I want you guys to take a look at his reaction when he sees the culinary legend, Jacques Pepin. Watch. The legend, the one and only, Jacques Pepin. <laughs> And he sits down and he can't miss a second of it. It was so exciting to us to see how excited Jacques made him. So it's not nice to lie to a four-year-old, but sometimes it just has to be done. Yeah. So we lied to this little four-year-old and we told him that he was going to go to a cooking class for kids. His mom, Leah, was in on the whole thing and they were not going to a cooking class for kids. They were going to Jacques Pepin's house. <laughs> I know, it's so great. Watch what happened, watch this. Hi, Zeke. Hi, Who Zeke. Is that? Hi, how Who are is you? It? Are you going to give me a hug? Hi, oh. how are you? I'm so glad you came to see me. Chef Papin was at the door. We were so excited to meet him. Okay, let's go, we're gonna cook. You have a fancy house. This is a fancy house, huh, is it? I can't reach, so I got so Maybe, maybe you can go on the chair, yeah, that's it. And then you can see better. So, Zeke, how old are you? Four. Four? You're such a little guy, you know. How did you know about me? I'm um, you... on their cooking show. Yes, and sometimes he would even cry for you. Oh, yeah? He would say, Pupin, I want Oh boy, do you like olive? Yeah. When my daughter was very small, you know what I would do with an olive like this? I would take it like this, then I cut a part like this, then I do this, like that, and then I made a hole right there, and I put that in there. And now, what is that? It's a little rabbit. What do you think? I knew that. You knew that. <laughs> and now we have a little rabbit with a grape. That's for you. Yeah, and you can also, okay? You want to learn how to do something else? But I think now... We need chocolate. You want to eat chocolate? Mm -hmm. You like chocolate? Okay, so we're gonna do something with chocolate then. This is Rice Krispie. You have Rice Krispie for breakfast? And this is Corn Flake too. I ate that before. You I did that before, I'm sure. So what we are going to do, we have the chocolate here, you see. Do these, get these in there? We are going to mix it, yes, with the chocolate and this. I'm going to put it in there like this. And then after that... You put a good cocoa. Do you want to test it now? Yeah. That's it. It tastes like rice crispy. It tastes with chocolate. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought it tastes like. So we take one like that with one hand and you push it with the other one. We make a little bowl like that. Hey, I know how to do that. You want to do that? Good. I'm going to eat this. No, okay, good. Okay. Mm, it's really good. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Thank you for coming to see me.